external hard drive, modem. The sky scratch. Stay strong, stay wise. Dressed in blue. Well, surprise! You finally get to meet me. It's Alexandria B. But from now on, you must call me Small Lady. And you're probably wondering why I look like this. Well, this. This is an awesome costume. And to find out why I'm wearing this awesome costume, you're gonna have to wait. Until Monday. Stay tuned, folks. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Uh, I am a little late this morning again. Because again, I fucking turned my alarm off thinking that I hit the snooze button. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I usually leave around 8 o'clock. I woke up at 8 o'clock, so a little behind today. Uh, today's going to be a busy day, guys. I have a lot of stuff I need to get done uh, on top of all the work stuff. <laughs> um, today I need to uh, finish up my script for the segment on, s blah, on Monday. I need to come up with a location because... Uh, I have no, absolutely no idea where we're gonna film. I had, I had one thing planned out, but uh, it's not gonna work. Which kind of sucks because it would have been really cool if we would have been able to do that. Um, so I gotta think of a different location to shoot at today, which is really difficult. <laughs> coming up with a script and you know, coming up with a storyboard and an idea for a video and stuff like that. It takes a lot of fucking work. And, you know, make it an intro and shit like that. Like, that, to me, that that's just easy. Uh, you just take a bunch of shit, throw it together, and there you go. Put a nice beat to it, and you got a fucking intro and outro. <laughs> but this, you gotta, like, fucking write a script, and you gotta plan out the shots, and... It, <laughs> it's, def it's definitely a lot more work than I was expecting. But the one thing that I am good at is coming up with templates to use to quicken the process, so... Once we get one or two segments out, uh, I'll probably have it streamlined by then, and we'll be able to rock those segments out, no problem. I really gotta get a, a fucking better schedule going, man. This is, let's go to bed at two, three o'clock in the morning and getting up at seven, just, <laughs> I, I really got, I gotta figure something out, guys. You know, I wanna be able to bring you guys these segments like who the fuck said that and stuff like that every single day but you know if I want to be doing all these things that I want to be doing I can't be doing that shit every day you just, just gotta keep it real right it takes a lot of time out of my day like I, I, I gotta dedicate at least three hours to doing that stuff every single day and if I want to be going out and doing all these events and uh, that's this time I don't have I'm sure you guys understand that as well so you know, once we get everything worked out, going to these events and you know, get a good schedule going, see what's going on in regards to how I'm going to be doing the editing, stuff like that, then we'll get these vlogs back to normal. But that, that's been, that might take some time because uh, you know I'm not used to being able to go out and do things. So uh, you guys are just going to have to bear with me over the next little while once we get the vlogs kind of settled into this new 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 lifestyle, I guess you could say. But see you guys on my break. Yeah, 
I still can't figure out a location for the shoot tomorrow though. I'm having a really difficult time trying to figure this out. Like I don't know, like, because we, we're both kind of working on our own scripts, so to speak. We're not really going by a script, but we're going by a base, I guess you could say. And uh, you know, I, I don't really know what she has in regards to that, so in regards to the scenes and all, and man, it's only going to be a short segment, it's only like two minutes or something like that, but I mean, fitting all the different uh, uh, shots and everything, leading them in and putting them together and all that, not knowing what the actual dialogue is going to be like, it's, uh, it's a little difficult in regards to trying to figure out what the background is going to be. Uh, but I'm thinking uh, it might just be something as simple as the uh, harbor front or something. I don't know. What's up, wankers? We are done for the day, done for the weekend. Or, no, done for the week. Now to the weekend. It's a very uh, interesting afternoon for me. I had a little uh, battle going on with my father in emails. You know, he always bitching and complaining about how he always wanted to be part of our lives, but when it comes time to actually take a stand and be part of our lives, you fucking bitch and moan about it. So, basically, uh, his last email was basically telling, telling me that, you know, he is proud of me and uh, he's, he's going to help me out uh, for, for my rent this month and everything. And then he decided to persist after saying that. Telling me that, uh, you know, I don't care how you talk to your mother, but if you ever speak to me using the F word, we are done. Love you, Dad. <laughs> so I sent him a message back, and he's like, you know what? I appreciate you helping me and all, but if you're willing to throw yourself out of my life because you don't like how I talk, you're pretty fucking sad. <laughs> it's so sad, man. It's so sad. It's like, hey, I heard you disowned your son. Was it because he was a bad son or anything? Oh, no, 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 it wasn't anything like that. Oh, did you disown your son because he was stealing stuff or anything? No, no, nothing like that. Like, huh. Well, did you happen to disown your son because uh, he was a drug addict? No, no, nothing like that. Oh, well, did you just disown your son because he was committed into a mental institution or because he attempted suicide or because he was a crackhead? Anything like that? No, no, no. Oh. Why did you disown your son? Oh, he swore at me. Let me enlighten you, dear father. Get over it. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys are getting a little uh, witness into something I have not really covered in the vlogs yet. My father. And, uh, but uh, when it comes to talking about my fucking father, <sighs> there's, there's, uh, I've said it for years, you know, I've put all that shit behind me and whatever, but it never goes away. It never, it never really is okay. It never really settles. It stings, it stings. And then when I have him go and say shit like he did today, it's like a fucking stab in the back. You're like, is it? I, I don't even want to give him the time. Come on, male. I want my cooling fan.
Now you have first. Oh, all right, home again, home again. I forgot to mention something to you guys that uh, I thought was pretty awesome. Uh, last night I was uh, doing my rounds online, stuff like that, doing my editing and blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And I got an uh, email from Halagonia, uh, the website that my vlogs go up on and that I've been posting videos for them uh, at the events that I've been going to. Uh, they contacted me last night and they said that, you know, we're really glad that we have somebody uh, who's a contributor to the website uh, that, you know, looks to, to post stuff onto the site and that can actually do his own editing. Um, so they asked me if I wanted to uh, take the next step, I guess you could say, and uh, they were they asked me if I'd be willing to do assignments for them. So I guess uh, technically I, I would be freelancing for them, I guess, in a sense. I don't really know the terminology. This is all new to me. Like I, like you guys all know, I, I, have, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants. Uh, everybody says I'm, I'm uh, excellent at editing and stuff like that, but you guys, you, you guys know I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I'm using Google and YouTube every fucking night uh, to figure out how to do certain things. But I mean, I am learning them, um, which is probably different than most people because most people, you know, they they don't take the time to learn that shit. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have in mind. I did tell them, however, that. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be able to do any assignments on nights that I've already previously agreed to go do things. Um, other, than, other than that, I'm more than willing to do anything they want me to do. I'll go to any venue, I'll do whatever they want, doesn't matter. As long as it gets me out of the house, I'm able to go film something and enjoy myself. That's all that matters. I should know better. Oh, this has only happened to me a couple times. <laughs> This is what you get, James. You should know better than to say stupid shit. Let's do it again. Who the fuck said that? Hey guys, welcome back. Who the fuck said that? Let's get right into it. We got Andrew and Dylan. Dude, I love the... What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to go into a whole rant there, but I decided just to cut it right off. I thought it would be more enjoyable for you guys, and I wouldn't have to listen to it myself. We got horse vlog. Sounds like you had a pretty rough day. Yeah, I have uh, rough days all the time. Um, well, everybody has rough days all the time. Mine seem to be a little bit more frequent than others, <laughs> but uh, I'm getting better at dealing with them. We got Dr. Erythromycin, our contest winner. I'm not a plank. I'm a couch potato. You're still a plank. Shanty cleaner. You went peanuts. I, uh, I wouldn't say peanuts, but I definitely uh, stood my ground. You guys, Curious Kitten. I noticed that kind of behavior a lot in Halifax in regards to people acting retarded. Um, you guys around the world have witnessed what people are like here in Halifax and how they treat people. It's, uh, well, here's another person who uh, is willing to uh, stand by me on that one. You got Becca, ctfx -er. Yay for standing up for yourself. I think I, I at least got the ball rolling, rolling in regards to people not wasting time. Mr. Lucho Libre. Much trolling in the comments this time. Yeah, they uh, they like to come around every once in a while. They, I think they probably just hop on YouTube after being off for a while and decide they're gonna go fucking troll people for a few minutes. <sighs> oh guys, who the fuck said that over for today again? Um, in regards to what I was talking about earlier, trying to figure out a good way to kind of balance everything. Uh, I want you guys to suggest to me something that I can do whether it be, uh, you know, only have who the fuck said that on certain days, uh, whether it be on, you know, on, I don't know, fucking Sunday or uh, something like that to recap my favorite comments from the week or something like that. I don't, I, I, I don't want to make a decision and take away from you guys because I know you guys really enjoy the comment section. I don't, I, I know you, I, I just don't want to take away from what you guys enjoy. So uh, I want you guys to kind of come up with a, uh, a good balanced way for me to be able to bring the comments to you guys because you guys put effort into making them and I'd like to be able to sh showcase to them um, so leave down in the comments what you what you guys think and uh, you know I'll take the uh, I'll take the ideas and work with it from there Sky you never cease to amaze me you know that you, you find the like you just really you got right in there huh Get right in there. Yeah. Hey guys, all I'm there for today. I have a uh, little bit of work I need to do tonight in regards to doing some writing and uh, 
some uh, little extra editing that I have to get ready for for upcoming uh, things in the vlogs and um, I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow I have a lot that uh, I want to get done in regards to going out and finding different locations and stuff like that uh, for doing some filming for upcoming vlogs um, so stay strong, stay wise folks, I will see you tomorrow, hope you had a good day, peace! Oh, don't forget all the links down below for Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Boom, baby! It was shade ah, class that inspired me To show my everyday life like CDFXC Burn, 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 bur